Oncologists say the numbers of cancer patients are rising year on year across the world, with the World Health Organization estimating that it will become the biggest killer on the African continent by 2030. At Grudeskir Hospital, the most common female cancers treated are breast and cervical cancer, while the most common male cancers include prostate, head and neck or gastrointestinal cancer. The acquisition of technologically advanced machinery to deliver radiotherapy is seen as an important milestone in cancer treatment. It cannot be that just because we are in a third world country, you still have to continue providing treatment uh, for, um, uh, for that kind, because we are all first world. We have got the, our clinicians, they are after sought by, sought after throughout the world. So that's why I was saying that we, we wouldn't want a situation where we ended up not them having, not having uh, the tools of trade. Radiotherapy uses beams of radiation on tumors to shrink and destroy them. It can be used in conjunction with chemotherapy or on its own. Also for things like radio surgery, which this machine is capable of, we also sometimes treat lesions which are not cancers, things like arteriovenous malformations or benign tumors in the brain that are very difficult to get at surgically or tumors within the body that are difficult to get to surgically or the patients are too frail, certain types of lung cancers, um, paraspinal tumors, that kind of thing. Park says the advanced technology allows for less time for patients on radiation beds. This machine has a number of different capabilities. Because it's high energy, it means we can treat larger patients. So sometimes our larger patients, which are less, uh, which are, are more prevalent in our setting than in places like Europe, um, have not had as elegant a, a, a treatment. And by elegant, I mean a, a type of treatment that will give them the least chance of side effects. At the end of the day, what we're trying to do, we're trying to cure patients with a good quality of life. So these sophisticated machines allow us to better protect the normal tissues and treat the cancer. She says earlier models of radiation machines often resulted in more side effects for patients. Because the, the radiation was less penetrating, we had to use kind of higher doses. The dose to the skin was higher. Um, the dose to the surrounding organs was higher. We had less capability to, to use um, CT, CT scans and planning to be able to use um, treatment from a number of different directions. So in the old days, the treatment was just done, for example, from the front and the back. Um, now we can pinpoint wh exactly where we want to treat and we can also pinpoint the, the very sensitive areas that we want to try and avoid when we treat. A 50-year-old cervical cancer patient at the hospital says she is grateful for the opportunity to be treated with the advanced machinery. For me, it is as looking forward every day to come here to get cured by this machine, you know, and to, to give us more hope that there is hope for us women, not for me only, but for men and for children, because what this new innovation they have got here by Grootske is so an advance for us and for me as not a medical patient and for me thinking, yeah, there is hope for me because we're getting chemo, chemo, I'm receiving chemo twice a week, being here five days a week for five weeks for radiation. Grootskeer also boasts a new brachytherapy suite and service, which is most commonly used to treat gynecological cancers. An orthovoltage treatment unit, which uses low-energy radiation to treat cancer and other conditions close to the skin surface, has been installed. A second Lernac machine will soon be installed at Tigerbuck Hospital, making targeted and advanced radiotherapy treatments possible in shorter time frames. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.